Hi, I'm Mallory. If you're new here, I'd love to welcome you to my world. So don't forget to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. I know I always mention subscribe twice, but in case you missed it in the beginning, you have an opportunity at the end. Um, anyways, today I look a little disheveled and I definitely feel mentally disheveled. Um, I just filmed a video which I deleted because I was too all over the place. So take two, shall we? Um, I had this like envision for my bedroom and like my office area. Um, and so far it has not come to fruition because there's just so much going on right now. I just don't see the point in like setting up shop to then have to take it down and relocate. So today like I, I'm not feeling great, but you know, I got exciting news yesterday, and that put me in, like, a really good mood. I really, my friend got engaged, and I went over to see her, but she wasn't home. So I'm guessing they all went out to dinner to celebrate, as it happened over the weekend. And I found out yesterday morning when I woke up, so I got a text message with a photo and the announcement. I was just like, oh my goodness gracious, I've been waiting on this. I have her present ready to go. That's my lunch, which I'm in the process of eating. I just need to get her a card, and I wanted to get her like one or two wedding magazines. So I may um, later like drive to like a drugstore or the grocery store and like pick something up. Fingers crossed, she'll be home tonight. Um, it could be a while, but like I just want to see her like ASAP. But that's really not what the video is about. But I just had to throw that out there because that's pretty darn exciting, if you ask me. Um, and then I woke up today not feeling great. Uh, it's just like the weather here is not helping. But I've got a lot going on, and then Amazon notified me that a book I pre-ordered a while ago is here. It's out. The sad news is there's a book signing tomorrow night in New Jersey and I wanted to go but my dad was going to take me until he couldn't because he's leaving for Canada which is this author's native homeland. So um, if you know like okay so I have Scotty McCreary's book and that thing lives on my nightstand so I can like eyeball it and like daydream. <laughs> at night, I just like to stare at it, okay? I I'm, I'm, I'm call that creepy, but that's what I like to do. <sighs> I love his book. Um, and then my mom did get me Miranda Singh's book, the um, self-health book, however the hell you say it. Um, and it's buried away in um, like my bookcase thing because uh, right now I just can't deal with Miranda or Colleen Ballinger for that matter. Um, but that's a whole other issue that I've really maybe like hinted at but I've never gone on a full top video about it and I don't we're not gonna do that now but I also have Tyler Oakley's book which I still need to finish reading I don't know why I can't get through that one who knows I might just end up getting it on audible and listening to it because that's my new preferred method of reading is listening to audiobooks I love it it's fun like when you're like getting yourself ready in the morning to listen to something or like even in the car instead of music, a nice change of pace, or on an airplane. Um, I tried that. I was like out of options and feeling anxious and so I just, I have Scotty McCreary. I have his audible book or audio book, whatever, on audible because he's a narrator and I love his voice. Not only when he's singing but when he's talking that like the deep southern accent of his. Mm. So, um, I've listened to it like all the way through, twice, I think. <laughs> Call me crazy again. But, so there's a book signing tomorrow night, and I'm just like, oh, it's where I went and saw Scotty, it's where I went and saw one of my other favorite authors back in high school, and then nope, it turns out, it's now it's sold out. So I was gonna try to twist my mom's arm, just a little hair, a little teeny bit, to see if she could take me, but nope, it's sold out, and According to Miss Lily Singh herself and how to be a boss, um, she did mention a couple of days ago on Insta Story that the North American tour is selling out fast. But like the fact that New Jersey of all places sold up so quickly, 
I knew I'd have to buy another book and pay for like a ticket to like see her, but I don't care. I didn't care, but now I can't and it's sad. But what's great is this book came and when my phone notified me, I was like, <gasps> but then I'm like, uh oh, it's like raining today on and off and it's really wet and gross out and I'm just like, what if it's in a box outside and it's getting drenched and the book's getting wrecked? No, it came in one of these like envelope -y things and it was jammed into my mailbox, so it's safe, it's beautiful. I'm getting my fingerprints all over it. It's how to be a boss, a guide to conquering life. But look at how they did that. And then this is the back of the book. And then obviously on the inside, you know, like on the sleeves here, there's information on the front and back. Um, which I thought about reading, but I don't know. I'm like very like drumbly, like I can't get my words out, so I don't want to like butcher anything and come off like a wacko and an idiot more so than I might already be doing. But I just wanted to say the book is now out. I'm a, I'm in love. I can't wait to read it. Um, yeah, I mean, like it's it's just all right. I, I'll read this bit here. Um, well, it's funny, it gives the definition, the top bit is the definition of a boss, and then um, it says a warning. This book does not contain hopeful thoughts, lucky charms, or cute quotes, but uh, see, that's because success, happiness, and everything you want in life need to be worked for, no, not wished for. In Lily's world, there are no escalators, only stairs. Get ready to climb. And then there is a quote here from someone. Uh, I like just I like I like everything that I've seen so far. Um, I haven't like really like looked inside at the pages because I think there's like photos and stuff in there. Um, I haven't read any of it yet. Only the front, back, and then the, like inside sleeve little things. And so this is gonna give me something to read this weekend to keep me busy, get my mind off stuff and hopefully get my mind refocused like because i think if i remember correctly um the reason if y'all don't know lily singh aka superwoman on youtube um why she started her channel was because she was like depressed and needed a creative outlet to get out of her depression and right now i think that's what i'm struggling with among some other things i feel like my mood disorder I don't know if I ever mentioned I had one, but I do. I feel like that's a little fritzy right now. Um, I was disturbed the other day when I laughed and then I cried. I'm like, what? Like, how do you go from one extreme to another? Scotty McCurry was on Snapchat and he said something funny and it made me laugh to the point where I'm like, this feels so good to laugh. I watched it like a few more times and then I just started crying because I was so sad that like I hadn't laughed in like a while and that was like probably the first time I laughed since the last time I laughed I don't know it's been like going on like three or four weeks now I don't know and like things aren't getting any easier I know this is off topic but like they're not and I just my head is pounding right now I feel just my eyelids are very heavy this eyes twitchy um I'm going to try to like hop in the shower, clean myself up, maybe that'll be like relaxing and in this current moment I do not feel safe to drive so I might not get to where I want to go but I might wait till my mom gets home and then we can go together um, and I'm just really crossing my fingers here that my friend is home tonight so I can see her congratulate her in person although I did say congrats you know in the in the text message but I don't want to um you know let a lot of time go by because I'm just like so excited and I want to hear all the all the dirt it's not really dirt but you know like your friend gets married or they're like get I'm not married well obviously that's probably a fun day as well but like when they get like engaged to proposed you're just like oh my god when did he do it where did he do it how did he do it like blah 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 like you know all that stuff so i just think like kind of getting immersed in something that is a happy time for someone it might like make me feel like oh hey happy for them and hopefully then i'll feel happy about myself but that's not right now i'm just not 
happy and I'm not feeling it and um, I postponed brain training today because I was like there's no way I'm going and I'll go and I, I pushed it to Thursday but I'm already predicting I'm canceling Thursday like something is going on obviously that needs to be addressed and I, I don't know but um I just wanted to say that I'm very very excited and I can't wait to start reading this book I might actually start right now when I finish my lunch it's probably cold at the moment because I've waited so long to eat it but I don't know I just don't or I might just crawl back into bed like or on the couch and just watch army wives I'm almost done. I'm like on the last few episodes of season six and there's only one more season left to go. Um, I do watch it on the television in the other room. But then at night, when I'm up all night because I can't sleep despite how exhausted I've been all day long, uh, I watch it on my iPad. So this morning I was trying to go back to bed once I knew like I didn't have to go to brain training. And I could hear someone talking. I'm like, this sounds like Roxy. I'm like, what's going on? There's like a lady's voice in my bedroom. So I open up my iPad and somehow I like made the, made like, turned it on. I don't know. So I hopefully can figure out where I left off. <laughs> from, from uh, like, I don't know, when I was last watching it was like, really late last night so um that's what i'm probably gonna do i might um why am i telling you like how my day is gonna go when i just wanted to talk about a book and how i like surrounding myself with people that i find inspiring and i want to get grace helbick's helbick is that how you say it or she has two books i want those um, I don't know if I'll get any, I don't know, I'm not gonna like own every YouTuber's book, but there are other YouTubers that have books, and I like books, like, especially like this one here, and ones that are about someone's life, like, I'm in, I started reading Girl on Tour from Zoe, Zoe Sugg, but I didn't like, I could, I could relate in ways, but it just, it's non-fictional, right, no, it's fiction, fiction's fake, I like non-fiction stuff, that's more my jam, so it's like hard for me to get into it and so but I told myself like don't even bother buying the second one until part two until you finish the first one and I don't know if I will but um yeah so I'm gonna go on with my day and hopefully it gets better um my eyeball itches allergies fun fun times in my life um I did paint my nails last night which was relaxing and fun, but they're a little messy because it's like a dark purple color. And I tried cleaning up around the edges and it got on my phalanges. So I might wash my fingers. <laughs> Try to clean them up a bit more. Um, but yeah, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, feel free to leave those down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to check the description box. You can find me on social media. I'm pretty much everywhere. Come say hey. Don't forget to like this video. It lets me know that you like it, even though not all my videos are like, because <gasps> they're not, but <laughs> it's all real. And, um... If you'd like to subscribe and you haven't done so already, you can always click on my face. And if you feel like watching something else, so I'm probably in a better mood, go <laughs> right ahead. Um, and thank you guys so, so much for being here and all your love and support. And as always, till next time, keep it quirky.